What's up everybody? How y'all doing? It is Wednesday, almost 3 p.m. and I got a meeting to go to. Someone caught the attention of my blogs and uh, they wanted to meet up with me and they wanted to see if I can blog uh, their company's events. So, man, that's kind of cool just because, uh, <laughs> you know, once you do something that you really, really love and, and you put it out there, you know, for the public to see, people will pay attention. People will notice, as, especially if they see you're, you're having a good time with it because they, they see the passion. Anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about, and this was totally random. I was just listening to the Top Gun soundtrack. It is an amazing soundtrack. And it just reminded me that I thought I heard or read a, an announcement or a rumor that Top Gun was being re-released in theaters and in 3D. You know, that seems to be the trending thing now, and that is to uh, re-release these big movies in 3D. And before I thought of that, I was thinking that, okay, I gotta get this movie on Blu-ray. I gotta see this in high definition, because I only got it on the two disc uh, DVD special edition, but I gotta get it on Blu-ray, because I really wanna see it with a big sound and just high definition picture quality, right? Then I thought about how this movie is coming out uh, in 3D. I mean, I'm not really sure it is. I'm not in front of my computer, obviously I'm driving, but I thought I read a rumor where Top Gun was being re-released in 3D. Anyways, originally I was thinking of how cool that would be to see one of my uh, favorite movies in uh, in 3D and in remastered because I never even got to see this movie on the big screen. I was just a kid back then. But then the more I thought about, it, the more I felt that this is a really old movie. This is a really old movie. Converting it for 3D uh, just wouldn't look that good. I mean, James Cameron can do it to Titanic just because he's the master of 3D. I mean, he basically created 3D for for uh, for feature-length films, but uh, to 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 just post-convert a movie that came out in the mid '80s and uh, but to just post-convert a movie that came out in the '80s and make that 3D conversion look good. I don't think it look, would look that good. I really don't think it would. Just because the, 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 the source material it, it was not that great to begin with. What I mean by that is that the source material is a great movie, but the, the, the picture quality, you know, it, it deteriorates over time. Film deteriorates over time. I don't know anything about uh, post-conversion process, and I don't know anything about the process of remastering an older movie but an old movie can only look so good you can only make it look so good just because it's just an old movie that was filmed on film it wasn't uh, filmed digitally so it does have its limits in terms of how much better you can make it look because Top Gun was such an iconic movie in the 80s and I only got to appreciate Top Gun after it came out on DVD just because you know I was a big fan of Jerry Brockheimer uh, in the 90s and then that's what made me want to search for his older movies and that's when I really embraced Top Gun as an iconic movie and really Top Gun is the only movie that features the Air Force in dogfights there's not that many movies out there which completely focus on the Air Force and this is that movie so you know how I feel about 3 if they can make it look good hell yes I want to go back and watch that movie on the big screen It'll give me goosebumps. It'll be like watching a movie that you've seen before for the first time again. If that makes any sense. But anyways, I want to know how you guys feel. Like Top Gun is a very iconic movie and it'll always be a personal favorite of mine. And I just want to know, would you guys watch it in 3D? Is it worth it to you to watch it again on a big screen in 3D? Even if they could do a good job with the post conversion. If they could do a good job with the post conversion, I'm freaking there. Let me know in the comment section below. Also considering originally I was on the topic of the Top Gun soundtrack, why don't you guys let me know what is your favorite song in the Top Gun soundtrack? My personal favorite is Mighty Wings. I love Mighty Wings. It's just, uh, it just sounds good. <laughs> so what's yours? My name is Alex Yoon. Thanks for watching Rage and Rona Review. I'll see you next time. Peace. When you really review movies, there are things that make the movie imbalanced. So, this movie is not imbalanced. It is near perfect to perfect in every department.